start seeing something in here in about a minute. Start seeing something in about well, you know, it's a minute they'll be starting. All right. It's not up yet. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, we want everyone oh, looking through the telescopes that are outside. Okay. This is just going to be for recording. I see. Would you I start see. letting people look through the through the telescopes out there? Have, okay. Anna should have that one adjusted. She should be keeping it lined up. Based on the telescope, what side is it supposed to come in on? It's where I, I have it set. Okay. <laughs> so you're looking for a little bit of an end. We're going to look for a little bit of an indentation. <laughs> the wind's pulling our posters down. And also what's happening is the, the turbulence of the air yeah, I can is see like that. causing this to jump around because we're at a fairly high magnification here. Target. We have one of my former students who was here for the transit of Mercury. <laughs> so if we look right there, that's it getting started. How does it make you feel to be seeing I don't know. <laughs> I've been telling students for ten years that, well, in 2012, we'll be able to watch this. Right. So now, next year, I'll start saying, well, last year, we saw it. We missed out. And it's very nice, gratifying when all the equipment works. Yeah. Right? It's like right where it's supposed to be. It's in focus. The sky's clear. The dome's right. The equipment is all good. So we're going to slowly watch this. And so um, this will be recording. So this is recording this, this live feed video. Um, and then years hence, we can analyze it more and more and more. But this is the best technology we have for recording it yeah. right now. For yeah. the next 105 years, they're going to be dependent yeah. on what we have right, right now. Right. This is you know top of the line equipment that we're using. Yeah. Yeah. So Very cool. 
Alright, I'm gonna hop out and make sure that the other telescopes are all because this one's doing its job. Okay, have you guys looked? The laptop from your, from your mm, that, that's what I'm taking from from the camera. Oh, okay. Right. Um, you're going in your. So actually, it's recording it on the card. Okay. Though allowing it to be viewed here, but um, it's a very specific program that does this capture. Oh, that's cool. So I mean, you could like film right off of there, okay. but. Um, Give me some time and I can give you the file. If you want the file. Well, we'll see how it goes. Krish, I'm gonna do you have an extra tape? I'm gonna start logging. Okay, yeah. Go on.
<laughs> um, a phone that held up to the eyepiece of that telescope well, actually worked. It's surprisingly good, yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. Now one of the things that we're hoping hoping to capture is a very fine line of light around this side of Venus that's an indication of, of the atmosphere of Venus. It was the first discovery that planets other than the Earth also have an atmosphere. Wow. That's pretty true. And so record this and then we can analyze it and then, you know we can enhance it and nice. um, stack images because they were catching it collecting on you know 30 frames a second. And then I, I have a program that I can stack those 30 frames and like get a much better still than just a single image. Super cool.